Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to bear witness to the greatest of commitments as we witness two beautiful souls, Victor and Peggy, come together in marriage. If you are here today, that means for one reason or another, Victor and Peggy are thankful for having you in their lives and they want to share this once in a lifetime opportunity with you. <laughs> Is that enough? Yes. Victor, seeing you smile every day brightens up my own. All the jokes you make, no matter how dirty they are, makes me laugh and that is why I love about you. We've come a long way since that first icebreaker game where we drew an animal out of the hat and instructed by the tutor to close our eyes and make the sound of the animal in order to find our partner. Being the young 18 year old that I was, <clears throat> too cool for school, let alone making animal sounds, I stood there waiting for my partner to make the first sound. As fate would have it, that someone was you. Victor and Peggy have found a special love where two people come together and they say, you know what, I'm okay with just being with you for the rest of my life. And with their love for each other, they will take on the world. Throughout the past eight years, you've been my rock. You've been there for me, both in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. You've been my number one supporter and the voice of reason with all my crazy ideas and ambitions. Today we hit yet another milestone in our, in our relationship as I take you as my wife. I promise to always be there for you, both in good times and in bad, as we embark on this crazy journey called life as husband and wife. I love you. So I remember the time when Peggy first told me about a guy that she was really, really into. About, you know, how funny he was, how smart he was, and also how good looking he was. But you know what? I never actually got to meet that guy. But you know what? Victor, you're right too. <laughs> Exactly, word for word, when he asked her out, he said, Hey Peggy, do you want to make this shit official? Peter, I vow to be your rock to lean on, a shoulder to cry on, and a pillow to rest your head. Most importantly, 
You are my best friend, my soulmate, and I feel so lucky to have you. I love you. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the great pleasure of pronouncing you husband and wife. You may now kiss as husband and wife. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Victor and Peggy.